Welcome back to Footballology. So I have another undrafted gem for you guys and Letty Brown from West Virginia. Now I was checking for this guy like maybe two years ago, a year ago, when I was doing my Javante Williams video and I was looking at all the college running backs. So I was just trying to kind of get build my list of running backs. And I seen this guy come across my screen, Letty Brown, and I was just really excited about him coming out. I was like, I can't wait for him to come out. I was just I just knew for a fact he was gonna be at, at best a third round draft pick. But this man wound up going undrafted, which is mind blowing in my personal opinion because I thought he was a pretty good running back when we scroll down look at some of his stats and some of this, what he did with his time while he at West Virginia I mean look at these rushing totals right like granted 2018 2019 probably didn't see a lot of a lot of carries well he had 107 2019 but still he didn't see a lot of a lot of game but then you see what he did in 2020 with a uh, thousand and nine touchdowns 5.1 yards per carry and then also 100 yards per game average that's quality like you get you can get that from your running back you taking that every day of the week same thing in 2021 still had a solid season on my personal opinion number his yards were down a little bit but his touchdowns were up and i think that's because he started getting a lot more goal line touches but then we come down we look at some of his receiving he's, he is receiving only progressively got better over this time there so this shows me he has decent hands and maybe he wasn't asked to catch a lot but i mean if we're looking at 50 to 60 catches out of our running back you know once again we're taking that all day every day especially in today's league I think the reason why, in my personal opinion, why his combine stock or why his stock had fell is because of his combine. You now you come over, you look at his combine. He didn't have that much explosive. You see through his rod and his vert, you can see he didn't have that lower body explosion. And then also running a four six probably turned a lot of teams off of him. But I think he's one of those guys. He's a better football player than he is a tester. And you you know exactly what I mean when I say that. There's some guys that just you put them in t-shirts and cleats and they just don't run the same. They don't look the same. But as soon as you fit on them pads and that helmet, they're different beast and so he probably is just in my opinion not a guy to test well now when it came to his run style and the way he runs at his height and size you wouldn't think this but he actually has really good contact balance he's a guy that has really good patience and vision and when you watch him run i'm kind of I don't want to say mesmerized because that's not the word I'm really looking for, but I guess that would probably be the best way to explain it is that he's a guy that just runs really fluid for a running back and a guy that has good vision and he just knows what he's doing, knows what he wants to do before he does it. And that's how I feel. And that may not make sense, but it kind of makes sense to me. But some of the comparisons or pro comparisons I want to compare him to is Alvin Kamara. Now, <laughs> now this is high praise, especially what Kamara's done with his, with his career up until this point and what he's done for the Saints. But in the third round, he was a steal coming out of Tennessee. Sean Payton got a running back that he knew exactly what to do with. And Kamara showed his rookie campaign that he could be that guy. And only progressive gotten better throughout his, uh, his career. But as you can see here, too, he had a 39 and a half inch vert. Good explosion with that 131 broad. So it just let me know he has that good explosion. But the one thing people don't talk about Kamara, and I, I love love explaining his run style and the best way i can explain it is like he's like gumby right like he he like water like he just flows right he doesn't get tackled his his body goes limp as he's getting tackled on one side of the ball like if the ball's in his right or in his left he, he gets tackled on his right and his body just goes limp on that side and he just kind of has defenders like slide off of him and it's just really exciting to watch alvin camaro run in my personal opinion and i think letty brown has some of those same tendencies in my personal opinion and so it's like it was hard for me to compare him to that and i was like okay i gotta find somebody else that that can be something similar and the next thing was Le'Veon bell now when i came to Le'Veon bell same thing size stature skill set i mean 40 yard dash granted we don't see his three cone and i couldn't find his three cone, three cone anywhere maybe he did it at his pro day and there's some numbers out there but i couldn't really find it anywhere but looking at him and Le'Veon bell they match up very very similar uh maybe Le'Veon bell is slightly heavier so you can live with that four six from Le'Veon. but i think personally Le uh, letty brown has some of those same tendencies as a Le'Veon bell or as alvin kamara not saying he's both of those guys like if alvin kamara and Le'Veon bell had a baby it would be letty brown because that would be op but in my personal opinion, I think Lady Brown has some of those traits of both of those running backs. He catches the ball really well. He runs the ball extremely well. And like I said, he runs with patience and a good contact balance. The fact that he went undrafted blows my mind. He ended up going to the Los Angeles Chargers, I want to say, if I remember correctly. So... I, I'm excited. I'm super excited about this guy. I'm super excited for his opportunity, having a quarterback like Justin Herbert, having the running back room, and 
granted, Austin Eckler is a good running back, but we know Austin Eckler probably won't give you a full 17 game season. Having the opportunity, even though Joshua Kelly is there, and I like Joshua Kelly too, and they got a couple other good running backs there in in, in LA. I I'm not gonna knock those guys. Those are some decent running backs there, but I think he has a good opportunity to possibly see some field. And so I can't wait for the preseason to really see him do his thing. I think he has an opportunity to make the 53 man roster and also end up making an impact. But that's all I have for you guys in this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think about Lady Brown. I'm gonna put everything I have on them in the comment or in the description box below so you guys can look on them for yourself and come back and let me know what you think. Do you think Lady Brown has an opportunity to start at the next level? At least be a feat, not be a feature guy, but be a role player running back, a change of pace back. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'll be waiting for that. And if you're not a footballologist yet, I don't know what you're waiting on. Go on and hit that subscribe button today, become a footballologist and stay safe, football fans.